Okay, this is a written assignment on um, right triangle trigonometry and Pythagorean theorem. The problem is number 15. It is saying that a rectangle has um, dimensions of 10 centimeter by 5 centimeter. Okay, and the question is asking to, for us to find a measure of the angles. Um, where the diagonals um, intersect. And as you know, those are what we call vertical angles, and vertical angles have the same measure. So we have that one. We have this vertical angle pair, right? So you have two pairs of um, angles that have the same measure. So the question here is, which one do we want to go and um, look for first? Um, if we know one of them, I think we can figure out the rest. So um, which triangle? We need to look at two triangles. Now, in this unit, we are looking at just right triangles. So we need to need we need to draw in some lines here. Need to draw in some lines. How do we do that? Um, so let's let's look at this right triangle. Let's draw this line down, and let's look at this right triangle. Okay. So within that right triangle, we know. Okay, I'm gonna draw this over here, just so we can think about it nice and clean here. Half of it. Um, this part must be the same as this part. So half of 10 is 5. And then half of that, half of 5, right? So this guy right here is the same as this guy right here. So half of 5 would be 2.5. And that's a right triangle right here. So I think we can go and find let's say this angle here, okay? This is the angle that that we need to find right here, and that would be this part right here. It's half of that larger um, pair there, okay? So let's find that. Well, in order to find that uh, angle there, let's call that angle A, um, and let's actually use capital letters um, for angles. Let's call that angle A, okay? So angle A is right here, right triangle. Five is the opposite, and 2.5 is our adjacent. So we have opposite and adjacent sides. That calls for tangent because we know so ka Toa, okay? Sokatoa, um, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent, and that's the one that we are after. So we would say tangent of the angle A is equal to opposite, which is five, divided by two point five, which is the adjacent. Now, how do we undo tangent? Well, we undo tangent by taking the inverse tangent. So angle A would be inverse tangent of five over 2.5. And all we gotta do now is just go to the calculator and make sure we are in degrees, and we'll just type that in appropriately. So let's go over to our calculator, and I like to use my decimal calculator, um, and we would go to function, and then it has inverse tangent of five divided by 2.5, just the way that looks right there, and um, we should get the answer of um, 63.43, 63.4 roughly is, is our angle. Okay, so let's go back. Our angle A is approximately, our angle A is approximately 63.4. That's what the calculator said. 
if angle A is 63.4, which is this guy right here, 63.4, okay? So then twice of it, okay, twice of it would be 2 times 63.4 would be um, 126.8, which is that angle right here, 120. 6.8 okay now let's call this angle x and then this has to also be x because of vertical angles right so in that um, scenario we have <clears throat> 2x plus 2 of the 126.8 is equal to all the way around um, a full rotation, which would be 360 degrees, okay? So x would have to equal to, let's do some calculations here, um, 126.8 multiplied by 2 is equal to 253.6, so 2x plus 253.6 is equal to 360 minus 253.6 to both sides you will have 106.4 divide by 2 to both sides we would say x is the angle 106 0.4 divided by 2, that would be 53.2 degrees. So this right here is going to be 52.3 degrees. And we have found the angles where the diagonal intersect. All right, that is it. And we are using, just one second here, we are using trigonometry here because we have, uh, we are looking for an angle and we have two sides. And the thing that relates angle and the size within a right triangle is right triangle trigonometry.